Hi everybody, and as you can see, this is Fighting Street. Well, actually, it's Street Fighter. This is the first Street Fighter. Uh, we're playing the uh, Turbo Graphics CD version, and I thought it would be just fun to try it out and see how far we can get. I do have a super, super old video of me playing this um, on my main channel. Um, uh, with a webcam that are looking over my shoulder, basically. And I'm gonna, you know, I'm just gonna, you know, even if we don't make any real progress, like, you know, we'll get to show off most of the characters at any rate. So here's Birdie, and he's kicking my ass already. I mean, this this, this, this is just expected. The only way you can really beat Birdie is if you manage to somehow do, you know, a Hadouken or a Shoryuken or any special move. Because the, you know, the thing, yeah, you see there, I took out like half of his health. So basically all I'm doing is quarter circle punch. I'm doing absolutely nothing else. And I have three uh, credits. So in this game, you had li limited credits. This is something they luckily fixed for the sequel. And this game, you know, is kind of infamous. Uh, you know, Capcom doesn't really seem to acknowledge it like it exists. <laughs> But you know the thing about this game is that it's I it's it falls into a very special category of in my view of so bad it's good yeah I now and that's the other thing like the characters move so jerky that it's kind of difficult well with few exceptions uh, there's two characters you can beat basically by just crouching and keep and punching them in the balls and those are Eagle and not Gen the other Chinese guy but I forget his name is it Lee. He hasn't appeared in anything else. Yeah, uh, just complete, complete accident I managed to pull up on Oak. And, but yeah, uh, Birdie is like the one to start with anyway because, you know, you know Birdie is going to be the one to, you know, kick your ass till next Tuesday if, if you don't succeed. And I find that only the Retsu and Genki, the, the guys from Japan, like are the only ones that you, that you can kind of fight like normally. And I've almost all I've almost burned through all my credits already. This is going really poorly. <laughs> but like I said, if we get game over, uh, you know, the good thing is like I can just choose a different venue and just go fight somebody else. I can show off the Chinese guys. Uh, the, the, there is a kind of a cycle to this. So uh, the countries at the bottom. All right, I just complete uh, uh, luck. Like, the thing is, like, you can try... And don't get me wrong, I do think this game has, you know, some redeeming qualities. Like, the music is actually really good. It's not like the controls are... I mean, the controls are... I think the, the best way to describe the controls are they're, they're kind of, like, weirdly sticky. Like, you see how I move? It's nowhere near... Unless you, like, have a side-by-side -side comparison with, like, Street Fighter 2. Just... The difference in movement is like night and day, but you know you gotta remember like what other fighting games were out on the market at the time. Like there were other fighting games. Like uh, Street Fighter was not by any stretch of the imagination the first one. It was just the first one where this whole thing where and in some ways it's still like you know abiding to the cliches. Okay, that was complete luck. You know th there was no rhyme or reason. For some reason Birdie what just wasn't doing his headbutt move, which is what usually kills me. All right, and these voiceovers, uh, these are great. <laughs> Birdie, of course, went through a weird transformation. Oh, Eagle also is in the later games, and Gen is as well. I don't think any of the other ones are. I think Retsu is one of those guys that they tried to bring back for some game, and then it didn't like work out or something. I don't know. Yeah, I actually love Eagle's, you know, music it's kind of bad that you can i can barely ever hear it because this is what i'm doing now this is what i was exactly what i was talking about also i have no credits left so i'm probably gonna just you know lose the next fight which is going to be against no not the next fight i think we're going to china now oh yeah but we have the uh brick breaking uh it's, it's weird how these conventions of these fighting games i have another video where i played um international karate and that one is even less refined. Like, most of the fighting games around that time were m more like uh, International Karate than this. So, Eagle actually made... Be then later appeared in the Street Fighter Alpha games. So did Birdie, so did Gen. 
Gen actually was in the, uh, the second live action Street Fighter movie, Legend of Chun Li. He was played by uh, Robin Sho. It's funny because he's an old ass man in all of these. It's actually really funny. I, I just just recently saw. But yeah, you see, these these things are actually something that they carried over to Street Fighter 2. Also, the match lengths. Although I think maybe I've read this somewhere. Maybe it's maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. But I seem to think like uh, in the Street Fighter 2 arcades originally. And yes, you have mini games. It's this and then the you know the tile kick in the side one. Wow. Okay. Actually, got did pretty well that time. I actually got one credit. Okay, that's rare. I think I've done that one only once. Like th this one is really hard. Like the timing is kind of finicky. The, the 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 tile kicking one is the one that I normally uh, manage to get a, actually manage to get a credit on because you have ample time to get it. All right, a time for uh, if you're gonna get deja vu. Sorry about this. I love it how they didn't bother like putting in the characters' names, it's just player one and enemy. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, there there was still a lot, lot, you know. Wow, I lost I lost the Lee. I seriously lost the Lee. That never happens. Wow. Yeah, the thing is, like you know, the AI is just programmed so weirdly. Like Birdie, Birdie's AI clearly is just ran a randomizer. It just randomly picks what it, what the character is gonna do. Uh. Whereas Lee's, you know, you know, guns for you, but he ha clearly has no, like, nobody programmed, like, a low block for him. Which is why this strategy w even works. Because you, you couldn't do this with, like... Uh, okay, so some characters, like, have, in Street Fighter 2, like, have, like, a lake sweep that's super powerful, so... But even then, the CPU, like, auto-blocks, like, so aggressively in Street Fighter 2 that it is really hard to spam attacks in that. Uh, it's not impossible, especially on, like, on the lower difficulty levels. I think you can actually do that. Alright. But this next one, again, is another one. Again, because again has no rhyme or reason. But again, I'm, I'm just gonna... What I'm gonna do, my strategy for the Gen fight, is me that I'm basically just gonna try to keep doing the Shuriken until I die. Until I die. <laughs> it's because that's probably what's gonna... What's it gonna be? <laughs> Yeah, this is Gen. Gen is like... In fact, that Robin Show played him is really weird because Robin Show is so youthful. Like, he's in his 50s, but he's still very, very youthful looking. He was probably in his 40s. Me think was only in his 40s when he played Gen. I also like Gen's, you know, uh, level theme. Like, the music is really good. I Don't get me wrong, this is not as good as a soundtrack as Street Fighter 2, obviously, but... Really, I, I gotta give them credit for this. Like, the soundtrack is great. The thing that ruins it for me are the sound effects. Like my gag is going her, 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 in the background. It's really funny because when I saw this, you know, the first time I ever saw this was in uh, in, in, in an AVGN video, I think. And I actually thought that like those hit, like those attack sounds were part of the music. It wasn't until I started, when I got this for the Wii, uh, the, which is what I'm playing this at on actually, so even though it's graphics version. Actually, this was a TurboGrafx CD game, so that's why the music is so better, because uh, if you hear my bonk video, <coughs> you know, uh, you'll notice that the music doesn't sound nearly as good in that. It's not like, and it's not, don't, don't, not to say, like, I actually do like the TurboGrafx sound card, uh, I mean, sound chip, whatever it is that they used for it. I do, I do think it's actually kind of nice. Man, I'm, I'm missing all of those tokens. That, that's the thing. That's the thing with Birdie, Birdie and uh, him. With Gen as well. Before you beat me, Dragon Kid. Hey, 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 hey. He's gonna... The thing is, I don't know who that random guy in the intro is supposed to be. Kind of looks like. It kind of looks a little bit like a proto Guile. But I don't know. It's It's like. Maybe it's supposed to be not Mike. What's the other guy's called? I'm trying to. Is it Johnny? No, it's not Johnny. The other, uh, you know, there's two characters from the states in this who are playable, uh, not playable. Sorry, the only other playable character is Ken, and but the thing is, like, you have to play it with the second controller, which you can do, which you can absolutely do on the Wii as well. But the thing that I don't like doing about that is that you start on the right side. It feels wrong. 
I mean, it shouldn't really, like, there's no rhyme or reason for why, you know, you start on the left and right, other than that we are just conditioned by video games that to think that that's the way it's supposed to be, like, my guy's on this side. Oh, God. Come on, don't, don't let me down. Damn it, yes, all right. Against all odds, I managed to uh, win win that round. I mean, I did lose lose one credit again, so I'm. Uh... Wait, so I have now I have one credit left. Maybe. Oh, I, I I completely lost count. I think we should be going to Japan. If I remember, the the countries on the second and top row like crisscross. So. Oh my God! It. Whoa, I've never done that badly. Well, luckily, I still had a lot of time. <laughs> this thing's also pretty cool as well. So, I think they released this on the CD specifically so that they could, like, use... I'm not sure if this is exactly the same music that was in the arcade version. Joe! You know what? I, I take it back. Maybe that is Joe in the title screen. I don't know why it's Joe specifically. You'd think, Ra like, Ryu would be... The one to put on the on the title screen, but you know whatever. Man, I'm having a lot of trouble. I didn't used to like in the old days when I played this game a lot more. And I, yes, I did play this a lot on the because it is it is like a guilty pleasure game. Like you know, I get a kick out of it. It's really funny. Uh, it's not you know you know if, if, you, if you're not like if, I mean if you're not used to like fighting games being this doinky, like you know obviously you're not gonna enjoy it, but. Uh, but I, I, I think it's, it, I think this game is hilarious, and that's why I like it. Okay, Daddy. But nowadays, for some reason, Joe gives me a lot of difficulties. Maybe, I, maybe I'm being too, you know, conservative. Maybe I just gotta like go right up to him and just keep punching him in the face. Fight against rats with Hanut. <laughs> So Joe, I don't think, was ever in any other Street Fighter game. And then the other uh, uh, American from this is, uh, you know, Mike, whom a lot of people, you know, assume, or used to assume at least, was, was uh, you know, the original Balrog, as in, you know, Mike Bison, because, you know, uh, Balrog was called Mike Bison in the Japanese version of Street Fighter 2 originally. But uh, Capcom has actually officially come out and stated that no, this, you know, that it, it, he has no relation and is not in any way associated with that character. It's, it's like the, the character Mike in this game is not uh, Balrog. Just another, just another black boxer guy, though. Because I don't think he kicks. I do, I do think he does, like, exclusively, like, punches. I guess, like, the most iconic, like, you know, venue is... The, <laughs> for this game, I mean, uh... In, in front of Mount Rushmore. What is the most iconic level in Street Fighter 2 anyway? They're all pretty good. Well, the first one that I think of, this is weird, because I have Street Fighter 2 Turbo for Super Nintendo. That's the version that I played the most growing up. And it always starts on Dalsim. Like, I think there's something wrong with the randomizer. It never, ever starts with any other character, only Dalsim. I don't know what, what strategy to really do on Mike. Mike. Mike gives me a lot of difficulties, because... Sometimes he'll just derp around for days, but the thing is like Mike can actually take me out in three punches Oh, yeah, like one one punch from Mike is takes out a third of my health Okay, oh no, I can, and that that's the other thing like I was trying to back up there, but yeah, Ryu didn't move That's the other thing that happens with this game Like the move like I said the movements are really sticky and for some reason the screen doesn't always scroll like, it just, out, uh, without any explanation, it just does that. I mean, I got a little lucky there uh, that the Hadouken actually worked. But yeah, like, exactly that. He, what he, he hit me like... I think he did, did hit me three times. I wasn't counting, but I do think he did hit me like two times. I mean, three times. And two, two times in a row, sorry. Like it. Damn it! Ugh. All right, I'm dead. I'm fu I'm straight dead now. And that's the other thing. Like he, he, he get, like, uh, like I can back up for days. That's not that's not the problem. The problem is like he can reach. He has reach. Am I down to my last credit yet? Oh, that was all right. So I'll just I'll just uh, start us in Japan then. Because uh, I, I want to show up the rest of the guys. I'm not, you know, this wasn't going to be a let's, you know, play through 
Like maybe if I had locked out and just somehow managed to do Hadoukens for days, but obviously I couldn't. So I think Retsu, there's nothing fancy about Retsu. Like he's he's just one of these guys who can you, you can just attack. Oh yeah, but the, the yeah the thing with this game is like they didn't have you know six buttons on the uh, you know turbo graphics, so they just had the uh, a two button controller. So no, pretty much the, pretty much the exact same design as an NES. So the, the the thing with this game is that it's pressure sensitive. That the shorter if you want to do a short punch. You know, you just tap the button, you want to do a hard punch, you hold the button down, and then you want to do a medium punch, then you're shit out of luck, because, you know, I, I have no idea. I don't, in the official manual, actually, I might even show it, it's really funny. They have the exact tens of a second that it takes for you to uh, get the, uh, uh, the, 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 um, the uh, correct punch, the punch you want. Oh my god, come on, Sprint, you fucking die already. I do love the art for Ritz. Oh, those character portraits. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about this. So most of the guys who worked on this game uh, did not work on Street Fighter 2. Most of the guys who worked on this game actually went to SNK. And I was actually thinking about it, like maybe I should do an SNK fighting game. Um, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But uh, but the guy who drew the character portraits is KG and Afuni. It's Mega Man's dad. Or uh, you know. <laughs> Mega Man's Papa. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been thinking about seriously contemplating about doing another Mega Man Let's Play, but you know I've done so many. That's the other. That's just the thing. Mega Man Eight is the one that I haven't done. Okay, that I think is a bug. I don't think he's supposed to do that, but that is really cool. Use of perspective there that he flew into the background. <laughs> I think he's supposed to like fall down. It <laughs> just kind of flew into the background. Yeah, so KG and Afuni draw drew these. I think that's the only thing that he did on this game. He was an artist on the game. Not he did, a, did absolutely none of the other things. And I do think you know the graphics aren't bad, but I do think this game suffers from really you know kind of unflattering color palettes. I say that, and we're about to actually get into the nicer looking arenas. Like this actually that looks nice. And there's Mount Fuji in the background. Okay, got lucky there. Yeah, he cheats. Genki fucking cheats, or is it Geki? I I, I already forgot. And he, he teleports, he throws shurukens. Shur shur so yeah, I moved just recently, and uh, yeah, I had a nasty surprise for me when I moved into, uh, tried to move into the apartment was, I didn't have my electri electricity on. And it turns out it was the fault of the, uh, the, 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 not the power company I buy my electricity from, but the power company was supposed to connect it because it, the move was over the weekend, and uh, yeah, I, I had to, you know, I'd taken a train from my hometown and then I had to get back on the fucking train. Because <laughs> nobody was answering the phone because it was the weekend, so, you know. Yeah, it was, it was, it was bad time. But luckily the next day when I called them, like, you know, it got fixed. But yeah, I never had that happen before. Like, I've had that thing where the companies that produces the electricity and the company that distributes it, I don't know what the, what the correct terminology there would be in English, but... Uh, you know, the distribu the distribution company, you know, always like calls me usually a month before my move or something. And they always ask the same thing as like, all right, uh, can we connect the electricity that it's not going to start like a fire? They use a specific wording like, can we connect it in a way? And, and I, I suppose if it's like a new house, that makes sense. Like, you know, but you know, they, they have like building ins inspectors. It's their job to make make sure that everything's like properly connected. So I always like, why are you fucking asking me? Can't you like, you know, the the, the, the building has a manager who probably, the, the building has a whole, you know, uh, the building that I'm moving, I don't own the building. I, I, it's, it's a rental apartment. Like, you know, there is a guy you can call who actually knows this shit. So, so that's the other thing, like, you know, I, I never get that, but like, now I know, I guess this is like a life lesson, like, now I know if I don't get that phone call before my move, it's usually a bad sign. <laughs> Alright, so, we're almost done. Oh, oh, messed up. Okay, we got this, this is really funny though, like, I know why the crowd is so, like, pissed off. Did they pay money to come and see me hit these bricks? But yeah, yeah, I've had... You know, I've had some, like, moves on very hot days, I've had... M oh, we went to the States! Directly! Ah! 
Okay, let's see if we can beat Mike. Well, first, let's see if I can beat Joe, because I was having a lot of problems with Joe. I feel embarrassed, because Joe is such a fucking dweeb. This guy, like, this guy's a fucking joke. Like, I don't, I, I'm not surprised this guy's not in any of the other, uh, Street Fighter games. I think Retsu would have actually been a pretty cool character. I'm surprised Geki isn't either, but the thing I've heard is that, um, the thing that I have heard is that Vega, or as he was originally called, Balrog, Vega was originally going to be a ninja. And, uh, well, oh, well what, either a ninja or a knight. Maybe they, maybe they, like, contemplated both alternatives. And then they kind of came up with that kind of matadorial look that he has. And with the mask and everything. Another fun thing I did, actually, I, I streamed, um... Uh, a little while ago, I streamed the Street Fighter movie, the, uh, the Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, and I had a really good time. Like, I... That's a movie that always puts a smile on my face. And I'm not even, like... I'm not even being, like, super... You know, not, what am I... What's the word I'm trying to say? But, yeah, yeah, I'm not, like, even, like, exaggerating when I say that actually probably is my favorite Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Like, I legitimately like that movie. A lot. Makes me sad that, you know, we will probably never have another Street Fighter movie. But then Street Fighter as a franchise has kind of gone down the train over the years. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of putting in a half-hearted effort here because we're, uh, we've already recorded a full episode. It would have been nice to see Thailand because you get to see... Oh yeah, Adon! Adon's also in the other games. And then Sagat. But Sagat, Ryu, and Ken were the only ones from this game to make it directly into the second game. Oh yeah, and uh, on the second game... Uh, so, the second game was actually developed uh, by the, um, the Final Fight team, you know. I was actually thinking about, you know, I'm recording this directly after the Bonk uh, video. I was actually thinking about doing Splatterhouse. I don't know if I had, had as much interesting stuff to say about Splatterhouse. It was, it was like, it was the funny thing. Uh, well, the thing is, like, I remember the cast name for the movie almost completely. The only one that I, I think I'd forgotten was uh, John Rainwater, or no. Greg Rain, uh, Greg, I think it's Greg Rainwater. Greg Rainwater who played T Hawk, but like I can remember the cast list otherwise. Like Damien Chappelle as like Ken, Byron Mann was Ryu, uh, Ming Na Wen was uh, Chun Li, Randall Bush was uh, Balrog, Peter Suyamapoto, or I, 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 I am incapable of saying his last name, but that's the guy who played uh, you know Honda. Uh, Andrew Bernierski was uh, Zhang Yif. Uh, Raul Julia was obviously Bison, and then uh, Van Damme was, um, Van Damme was, of course, Guile. Um, wait, which characters am I forgetting now? Kenya Sawada played Captain Sawada, but he's not a game character. Well, it sort of is, but not really. Uh, and then, 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 um... Oh, God. Roshan Seth was Dalsim. You know what? That that's the one actor I never I can I don't ever remember who the actor who played Blanca is. I mean because he's he's a big green monster man for the most most of the movie, so that's why. Jay Tavare was Vega and West Duty was uh, Sagat, and West Duty is a great fucking Sagat. I don't care what anybody else says. He's, a, he's one of the key. He's one of my favorite actors in the whole fucking movie. I'm not even joking. Jay Javier is pretty damn good too. Like, and the best fight scene is obviously the uh, Ryu Ken Vega Sagat fight fight scene. I did talk about that though. That there, I do I did, there is a distinct lack of fight scenes in the movie, and I do think that's one of its biggest weaknesses. But beyond that, it's a, it's a great time. Oh yeah, and Kylie Minogue was a uh, cameo. I almost forgot about him, her. <laughs> okay, but I I think we're. I think that's enough Street Fighter or fighting Street for now. Still don't know why they changed the name. Anyway, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.